So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Raspbian for Robots, the custom operating system by Dexter Industries, onto an SD card. You may uh, have accidentally corrupted an image that you bought from us, or you may just want to burn your own. You have an SD card that you want to use for your Raspberry Pi. So uh, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. This uh, set of directions are specifically for a Mac. We have a different video you can find on YouTube for how to do it uh, with a PC. Um, and you can find uh, also written directions on our website. So this is uh, our how-to page. It's dexterindustries.com how-to. And if you go there, you'll see a whole bunch of uh, great explanations for how to do various stuff around the Raspberry Pi. But most importantly to this tutorial, we've got the install SD cards, or install the Raspbian for Robots SD card uh, image. So if you're looking for written directions, um, I'll put the link at the bottom of the YouTube page uh, so you can find them. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. When you go to how to, you just click on the picture with the SD card and it'll take you to these step-by-step -step directions. Uh, Mac is the second one down. If you just click on the plus sign, it expands it. And you can see all the directions, including some pictures that are sort of helpful uh, to walk through how to do this. So I'm going to do this step by step uh, as best I can and uh, happy to try to answer any questions on YouTube or in our forums, which are backslash forums on DexterIndustries.com. So the first step is to, is to download the uh, latest image file. We compress these because they're about four gigabytes. You'll need a four gigabyte SD card to begin with. Um, you'll need a micro SD card if you're using any of the latest Raspberry Pi uh, versions. So say a B plus or Raspberry Pi 2 or A plus or the latest zero, they all take micro SD cards. And if you're using a MacBook uh, Pro or MacBook Air you, uh, with a SD card reader on it, you will need a SD card adapter. All of these come, that's this thing, where it has a little slot right there for the micro SD card. All of these come with uh, Dexter Industries SD card, which you can buy off our website. Um, or, again, if you're using your own micro SD card, then um, you just need to find an adapter or a way to, uh, to, to read that with your computer. So, these are four gigabyte, this is a four gigabyte image. I've just downloaded it, but you'll find it if you go to SourceForge. We also have a link um, on how to download it from Google Docs as well, Google Drive. Sometimes SourceForge doesn't work for folks, but you'll just uh, go to Files, or you can hit this Download button. Um, and the latest one, as of the publishing of this uh, uh, video, is this 2015-1109. So if you double click on that, download it. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, for the purpose of this video, I have already done that. So put this back here. And with the Mac, I've got a program called Unar Unarchiver on it. You can use your own uh, unzipping program. So something that won't compress it. If I double click on it, um, it just starts doing it automatically. Since I have a MacBook Air, um, it has a solid state drive, it's going to do this really rapidly. Um, but you can use whichever program uh, works for you. And um, when you're done, there'll be an IMG file at the end of it. Um, it'll pop up on your desktop. While that's unzipping, I'm going to talk about um, where to find your SD card, um, what to do with your SD card. We're going to insert it um, into, you can see this is picture of uh, my MacBook Pro and there's an SD card reader on the side. My MacBook Air has something similar. Some smaller MacBook Airs don't actually have that. You need to take a USB um, device that sell them everywhere, but it's just a USB um, SD card reader. Uh, and that should give you access uh, to, to uh, the SD card. I'll give that one more second. This is super fast on my other computer, it takes a lot longer. Great, so probably popped up over here. Aha, this Dexter Industries image. I'm gonna just drag this over here so you can kind of see everything. 
And as you can see, that's the same file name. It's just got the .img and it looks like a little disk drive um, on the Mac. So uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the SD card into my SD card reader. Again, I've got one on my MacBook. Um, you may get an automatic pop-up when you put it in. You may not, um, but if you don't see it, click on Finder and it should bring up a couple of things that are um, interesting over here on the right. So you've got this boot and that is the SD card um, sort of mounted to your Raspberry Pi. That's great, so I see that um, and I know that my computer can see that. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is actually try to find a name for that. We're, we're gonna have to, on a Mac, we're gonna work in the command line. So I can find that if I go into my upper right hand corner I click on this little Apple icon and I'll look for about this Mac and when I click on that I'll get an OSX report. I'm using El Capitan, I've done this on Yosemite as well uh, so you don't necessarily need the latest hardware to make this sort of thing work but um, if you click on system report which is this little icon right here um, you'll get a very I'll uh, screw a lot of text on it. Um, so, now we see our system report. We're going to look at the internal memory card reader. You should be able to see a couple of different options here under, uh, under hardware. And, uh, okay. So in my example here, I've got card reader. And if I click on my card reader, um, this is actually the built-in SD card reader for the MacBook Air. Uh, you may have an uh, internal memory card reader, you may have a couple of different uh, descriptions of this, but basically you wanna find that hardware and we're looking for um, the disk reader info. So the first thing we're gonna look for is this BSD name here. And you can see that in my case, it's called disk two. Now this is a really important step and I'm gonna write that down, remembering that it's called disk two. I'm even gonna leave it up down here so we can just look back for a sanity check once in a while. I'll close that down, but that's this is, this is the disk number right here for the SD card. And that's an important thing uh, to note. Disk one is probably the hard drive for this computer. We do not want to use disk one. <laughs> so, um, the next step we're gonna do is unmount our SD card. So, uh, what you can do is we'll, we'll use disk utility. If we go to Launchpad, I pull, pull up Launchpad and we'll see a list of programs that i um, got. And if you start typing in, disk utility, um, that'll, this will actually give us the option to unmount the um, unmount the SD card. So basically it's it's mounted, meaning if the computer recognizes the SD card as a, as a, a drive, and what we want to do is take it off of that. So with my disk utility, I can see I've got the Apple SSD SMO2. This is my hard drive, the first one, Macintosh HD, don't want to mess with that. but my boot is the here the Apple SD card it's called self boot I'm gonna hit unmount that and it should unmount the SD card yep and we saw that the file explorer went away that actually should be no longer available if I go back to finder yep there's nothing nothing there so that's great the SD card is still in place I haven't haven't done anything there yet unmounted the SD card uh, but I've left it in place. You can see that it's unmounted. It's gone gray. It's no longer uh, uh, black, but it's still there. So next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start working in the terminal. I've got terminal launcher down here because I'm a big nerd, but you may not have it on your Mac. So if you go to Launchpad again and you just start typing in terminal, T-E-R-M, terminal show, should show up and um, you'll uh, get a prompt to work in the terminal. So we're working 
in the desktop. Um, it'll bring you to your home directory. I'm going to go ahead and type in CD desktop. And if I type in LS, I should see a list of files. And I've got my two at the very top. I've got my two uh, image files there, um, the IMG and the RAR. So I'm going to go ahead just so it's not confusing to close this and relaunch terminal. Um, go into the desktop and I know those files are there because we just checked. So in the command line we're going to write a very long command. It's going to look like this. We, we're in desktop so it's going to be sudo dd bs equals equals 1m if equals that this is going to be your file name I know that my file name down here is 2015.11.09 yours may change if we release a later piece of software I'm going to go ahead and just copy it directly from this file name on the desktop so I don't have to type the whole thing out so um, I'll paste that in there and there's the file name 2015.11.09 underscore Dexter underscore industries underscore wheezy dot IMG and the next thing we'll put in there is OF and then equals backslash dev backslash disk 2 so remember when we looked up what disk this was down here um, in our MacBook Air information, the BSD name was disk. It's disk two. Very important not to put in disk one here. It's disk two. Yours may show up at three or four depending on your situation um, with your Mac and where your hard drives are. So there's one continuous line here with a space after one M um, and then the if and then the this is the file name here and then OF and then this is the disk uh, the disk location so uh, if you make sure you got the disk location correct I'm gonna hit enter and it'll prompt me for a password since we're using sudo and we're doing something that could potentially hurt the computer if we don't get that disk one disk two thing not messed up and I hit return and you won't see anything actually so this is the hard thing about a Mac is that we're using this utility here um, called DD which doesn't give you a lot of feedback um, on what's going on as you're as you're doing stuff um, but um, over the next few minutes it may take 10 minutes if you have a very fast computer it may take up to an hour or so just nothing is nothing is moving this thing is not frozen nothing weird is going on with your computer it's just not doing anything so it's important not to interrupt this process, just let it play out. Um, at the end I'll show you uh, when this is over you'll get a um, you get a nice prompt saying that it's done um, and we'll see some success. Uh, so I'm gonna stop the video and let this thing run because it will take a DD will take a while um, and we'll come back when it's done. Great and we're back. Um, that took about 35 minutes. We started, um, I think, at 1:55 or so, and now it's 2:30, and we just finished up a few seconds ago. You can see on our uh, on our uh, terminal screen, we've um, we, this is where we ran the command. We typed in the password, and then I got this great little message with 3,781 plus one records in, and the same out, and some a lot of data about transfer. Um, uh, bytes and uh, we're done so that's all you get from DD it's not a very uh, user-friendly program in the sense that uh, it gives you doesn't give you any information about how you, what progress you're making or uh, how it went in the end but this is what if you did have success this is what it looks like so uh, let's go ahead and um, We'll just double check that that actually worked. Um, I, well, in the meantime, while that was burning, I just wanted to point out um, 
the command in case it's uh, hard to see here. I wrote it out in Word so it's very large for your screen. It's sudo dd then space then bs equals one lowercase m and then if equals, remember this is the file name that ends in .img and yours may be this, it may be different. And then a space and then of equals backslash dev backslash disk two. And so if you have any trouble with this, I recommend uh, that you go to the, um, go to our website and see the written instructions uh, just to make sure that the command you're entering is the one that you see. So I'm gonna save that and we're back here. So finally, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I know I've completed this, I wanna go ahead and eject the SD card. I'll open uh, Finder again um, on the Mac and it's it shows up again and I've got this uh, boot, it's been remounted. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the eject button. And it's gone. I'm gonna remove the SD card and put it into my Raspberry Pi. And that should be it. That's all there is to uh, burning the image um, uh, to an SD card on a Mac.